You're watching ESPN on ABC. The time is now. This is probably a game that I'll never forget. If you get a chance to win it, which would be a fabulous moment in your life. Led by a freshman quarterback, the 2006 Deacons are looking for their first and only ACC title since 1970. Atlantic Division, Coastal Division. Wake Forest. Georgia Tech, Yellow Jackets. ACC Championship. Next on ABC. Here come the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest, the Atlantic Division champions, 6-0 on the road for the first time in ACC history. ESPN's presentation of college football on ABC brings you championship Saturday, and we bring you to Rainey Alltel Stadium in Jacksonville. It is the Dr. Pepper ACC championship. Lot left on first and goal. The sharp choice behind his fullback. Whoa, man. Did he take a shot in the middle? And he got it from John the season. Here comes the Georgia Tech pressure. Skinner, what a throw. Just threaded it down to the 35-yard line to Kevin Marion. You can't do it any better than that. The coaches told us that this kid was very accurate way back when he came in. He's going to stand in the pocket. Protection is pretty good. Throws a deep slant before the safety gets there. You got to know what you're doing to throw that ball. Kevin Marion only his sixth catch of the year. None. Long goal, and that's winning this game right here. On a third down and one. They're going to try and end around. Oh, Calvin right. Johnson's in a lot of trouble. And he's way back. Alfonso Smith is not a out of the lineup. Yeah. And so it's Moore who keeps it on a direct snap. Took a big hit at the end of the before he broke the ball. over on downs. Georgia Tech had a great drive going. A great drive going and it stopped on fourth and one. Plenty of time going deep middle. In and out of the hands of James Johnson. And this happened last week against Georgia. I don't want to say James Johnson short on. He gets nailed by Kip Bond number nine. Just throw, the ball throw gets it quicker. There. Throw it quicker. Get the Need to have the ball hanging in there so when he gets into an open area, the ball is there for him. This is a fourth drop ball by Georgia Tech today, and there's the hit that Paul's talking about. Chip Vaughn, the sophomore to Fairfax, Virginia, and he's a big guy, 6'2, 215, and just bangs in to James Johnson's ribs. And there's the five fingers up in honor of John Abadi's little brother, who wore number five, and now his big brother having the defensive game of his life, hoping that his defense can stop Georgia Tech as the Yellow Jackets have moved into the red zone as we start the fourth quarter. Battle. Georgia Tech lines up to try to bring that fifth man, or maybe more. Skinner, pressured, no bumps, a throw is complete. Tereshinsky 
his tight end down the sideline. Really grew up fast. And this play here, watch him and he has to step up. Now, you know, a lot of young guys are, are panic, but he doesn't. He just steps up, look at him, think about running, then he takes the ball down and throws it to down the field. What an outstanding play. From 33 to try to tie the game. Swank got it right down the Now under five and a half minutes. Second half. Skinner waiting, waiting, and now going deep. Got a man out there side of the And he's got it. Bob Coleman. Idle left's got it. And it's a first down by Forrest all the way down to the 12 yard line. Gets the ball out there to him. With three minutes left in the ball game. Swing. Kick on the way and perfect. Wake. Angelo Bryant, all 245 of them to the tailback. They fake it to him. They give it an idle in on the end around. First down, ball game. Wake Forest. Right there. Joe Adelaide will bring it down. It won't matter. And now the celebration can begin on the Wake Forest sideline. Skinner has skinned the jackets. Jim Grobe is the coach of the year. Riley Skinner is the rookie of the year. And the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest, for the first time in over 35 years, are the Atlantic Coast Conference champions. And they're going to the Orange Bowl as the representative from the ACC to the BCS. Our congratulations to the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest, to the ACC champs for 2006. In a defensive battle, they win it over Georgia Tech, the final here in Jacksonville. Nine to six, Wake Forest on an all-field goal game. Our Chevrolet players of the game, John Abadi, 15 tackles defensively for Wake Forest. And Calvin Johnson, in his attempt to try to get Georgia Tech to the Orange Bowl, had a good game but came up short of the end zone. Eight catches for 117 yards. In recognition of their efforts, Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. There's some happy guys down on the field as well they should be. Championship feels good. There'll be ACC championship rings all around. The Dr. Pepper ACC championship goes to the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest, nine to six. Don't forget, coming up next here on ABC, the Trojans of USC try to get a date with Ohio State if they can get by the Bruins of UCLA. That's going to wrap it up for my partner, Bob Greasy, Paul McGuire, Bonnie Bernstein, Brad Nessler from Jacksonville, or the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest are the ACC football champs. You're watching ESPN on ABC.